Wildwood. In Wildwood? Yeah. I first when I started out, like, uh, my mom's friend, he uh, worked on the boardwalk, and he started out just getting half and half on one of the games. Yeah. First game he had was he threw a softball into the bushel game. You yeah. see them? Uh -huh. Step right up. Take one try for a dollar. Like where, around where? 24th Street. 24th, 24th Street? 24th Street. Right. So I worked on 24th Street, 22nd Street. I worked in Castle Dracula before it burned down. Oh my God. Uh, used to walk up and scary and shit. Yeah. yeah what um, <laughs> what years uh, were you living down there? Uh, let's see. I lived down there for two full years. I Maybe fucking guess now. Uh, I'm gonna say around 88 and 89 and 90 were the summers I spent down there and worked for the whole summers. Yeah. But I've been down there every summer for like two weeks to a month with my family or by my friend or by myself and my friends ever since I was like five. As long as I can remember, that's my home away from home. Yeah, I, I used to. I lived down there. North Wildwood, baby. And, like I worked at the McDonald's in North Wildwood. I worked. You know, beers, water ice, yeah. casino arcade, or all around there, dude. Curly's fries, man. Curly's fries, beat the best. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for motherfucking seagulls. I think that was the first fucking <laughs> place I ever saw they Dippin' Dots, too. They are not afraid. Yeah, right out of your hand, <laughs> man. Just walking around with them. Yeah, yeah. Seagulls are fucking vicious. You I, see, call them them malls now. I call them mall goals. Mall goals. They find their way around here, and then they decide there's more food at the malls. So uh, yeah. right <laughs> we got a whole generation of mall goals <laughs> that live in every... Yeah, watch. You don't see seagulls anywhere else. Go to any mall, you yeah. see fucking seagulls. All right. The mall goals. <laughs> Yo, I saw... Those active ones about City Avenue. I had a pizza last time I was down there, and I swear, I saw this seagull with, like, tattoos. It came up and walked up. I said, yo. It gave, gave me the wing. It was like, yo, pizza now. I gave my pizza, and I ran. <laughs> I, I, I don't mess with seagulls. That's a badass seagull. <laughs> Hell yeah! Right he walked now. up with a limp and shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you guys? Uh, what do you guys do open mic? Uh, everywhere. We have a list of everywhere to go every name, night of the week. Name, name couple uh, of places. Right behind you there, the L bar. We've been there twice. We had headline there's before. Uh, the tap room. Also. Yeah, the tap room in New Jersey. Uh, we had the dive not too long ago. The dive in ago. Philly. Mm -hmm. Pat and Gino. Uh, we also we went to the night of the World Cafe. World Cafe. We've only been there once. We're gonna try and get there. Next Monday and win yeah. that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then but, um, we've we done a bunch of uh, other ones. I just can't think of any any of them right now. Oh, uh, burlap and bean. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, true. Um, yeah, the coffee house. Yeah. yeah, the coffee house. But like I said, but since we got the electric drums, we can go up in like little coffee houses that just get acoustic people, yeah. and we go in there and fucking rock the place. Cool. And everybody's nice. like, "Oh, that was awesome!" Because we just yeah. get acoustic people and we get yeah. bored of it. So we do. We pick out like every one we can, and we'll just go to all the coffee shops, the little ones, along with all the other ones. But one well, right down yeah, the street called cool. Buckets. Build up buckets. That, uh, yeah, it's an acoustic yeah. venue. I'll come down, call them up. Yeah. yeah, if you guys want to go up to Doylestown, uh, JD Malone runs the uh, puck. I think huh. they're, yeah. You have to tell us about this before we leave. David, I Yeah, well. Yeah, there's one of our friends too, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. There's a couple that we were looking to get to. We haven't been doing like Dowling's Pub and one called Downies. Dowling's and Downies. And uh, yeah, the World Cafe, deal. that's like the good one we got to yeah, get to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, World Cafe is pretty cool. Um, yeah, Grave Street just opened up again too. So I yeah, I called them, and, and every time I call, they say they're not doing it. Well, it's actually the Grape Street. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's called the Grape Street. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because everyone always told me about that place. That and there's some place that it, it, they have their postings all over the net, but I can't get anyone to answer the fucking phone. It's called the Fire. Yeah, uh, did they, are they closed? Or? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the fire closed. I, I don't know if I, I don't know if they're closed or not, but I haven't actually. They got more websites than anywhere. I tell you, what, they have more advertising for that closed place than any of the <laughs> open places. Do, really? So, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. So hey, if you guys are, uh, if you guys are a venue, you know, make sure you post your stuff. Get in contact with me or uh, Athena in the one ninety one. So so these type of bands like Pool of Thorns, awesome freaking bands can rock your open mic your and, and rock your shows. Sunday night at the Rocks Box is new, 8 o'clock at night. Definitely. I know it's tough, for, especially for you bands to get out there and support your local music, but remember, as hard as it is, if it wasn't for everybody coming out to see your music, fucking, you wouldn't be there, so you gotta come out and support your local bands, too. Awesome. And when you're at a show with people, stick around for the shows, man. Yeah, Don't just leave. Stick around, watch all the bands, support them. Okay, I wanna say yeah, something about that. that. 